Hey, I'm Dr. Mwangu's area Mexedic, a medical doctor driven by a love for farming. Embark on this journey with me where my medical background meets the world of agriculture. On Mwangu's African farm, we explore poultry farming, goat and cattle farming, piggery, maize and cassava plantation, and afforestation as we love nature. Join the adventure by hitting the subscribe button now to unlock a world of exclusive farming content and be part of something special. All you need to do, get your pen and notebook ready. Welcome to today's video where we dive deep into the heart of poultry farming. In this exploration, we will unravel the unique challenges faced by local and commercial farmers, more importantly, unveil practical solutions rooted in the essence of community collaborations and resourcefulness. From combating diseases to optimizing feeds with locally available resources, we will embark on a journey through the landscapes of biosecurity, nutrition, housing and environment and sustainable practices join us as we navigate the interests or details of poultry farming business explore into the art of poultry bird stress management and unravel the secrets to enhancing egg production and quality moreover we will discuss the resilience of local breeds and the potential of community driven breed breeding programs to cap it off, we will explore strategic ways to navigate economic challenges in the poultry market. So, whether you are a seasoned farmer or just starting in the poultry farming business world, this video is tailored to empower you with practical insights and solutions rooted in the rich tapestry of poultry farming wisdom. Let's embark on this enriching journey together. 1. Disease Management the sheer range of common diseases like Newcastle disease, infectious bronchitis, infectious basal disease, the gomboro, coccidiosis, fall cholera, fall typhoid, malex disease, avian flu, this is the bad flu, in poultry farming. It is crucial to establish strong partnerships with local veterinary doctors, implementing vaccination programs and sharing knowledge about disease prevention within the community are vital steps. By fostering collaboration and providing accessible information, farm workers and other farmers can collectively work towards minimizing disease outbreaks and ensuring the health of their poultry birds. Additionally, create a community health record to track vaccinations and treatments for better disease management and collaborate with agricultural extension services to organize workshops on recognizing and preventing diseases. The second one is biosecurity measures. The challenge of limited resources for biosecurity infrastructure in many poultry farming settings require innovative and cost-effective solutions. Emphasizing simple measures like foot bath, hand washing, farm fencing, traffic control inside the farm, isolation of new animals on the farm and the sick animals in isolation units for treatment, controlled entry, and community awareness can significantly improve biosecurity. Educating your farm workers and fellow farmers about these practical and affordable approaches is essential to creating a culture of biosecurity that helps to safeguard the poultry health in resource-constrained environments. Set up a community training program involving farm workers to teach fellow farmers about simple measures like using homemade disinfectants and creating designated entry points like the gates. Consider organizing regular community clean up days to enhance sanitation on farms. You exchange the biosecurity tips within your farm workers and the community farmers to improve overall awareness and practices. If you don't have enough money for protecting your birds, 
then use simple and cheap ways to keep them safe. Things like foot wash and making sure only authorized people or personnel enter the farm can help a lot. Tell your farm workers and every farmer in your community about these easy ways to protect poultry birds from getting sick so everyone can do it without spending too much money. Our third point is feed quality and nutrition. The accessibility and affordability of quality feeds pose significant challenges for all poultry farmers. So use local feed formulations using available ingredients and mostly the important point here, grow your own maize and soya bean. Promoting efficient feed conversion practices and sharing knowledge on alternative feed sources can empower farmers to overcome these challenges by tapping into local resources and promoting sustainable feed practices farmers can enhance the nutritional content of poultry diet without straining their budgets so if quite a feed is scarce organize community farmers workshop and locally available ingredients for homemade feeds also create a farmers community cooperative for bulk purchasing of affordable feed ingredients like concentrates and even if maize is there also you can organize and can buy in bulk as a community or as a group of farmers making it more accessible for all farmers in the area if good poultry feeds are hard to find or feed prices are too high try making your own using the things around you learn how to feed chickens in a way that makes them healthy without you spending too much money by using local ingredients and being smart about feeding you can keep your chickens strong and save money poultry feeds quality and nutrition are crucial for the health and productivity of poultry birds a balanced feed provides essential nutrients like proteins carbohydrates vitamins and minerals to these birds protein content is vital for muscle development and egg production while carbohydrates offer energy Proper poultry feeds formulation ensures birds receive the right nutrients at different growth stages, promoting optimal health and performance. Monitoring feed quality, ingredient sourcing, and processing methods are essential to prevent nutritional deficiencies and maintain fluke well-being. Check in the description for the link of my video about mixing sheep poultry feeds and another link for the video about growing sheep poultry feeds. And if you find value in this video, consider subscribing to stay tuned for more insightful content. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Hit the subscribe button now to unlock a world of exclusive farming content and be part of something special. Don't miss out. Your journey starts with a simple click of the subscribe button. Our fourth point is housing and environment. The traditional housing methods with the limited ventilation present challenges in many poultry farms. It is essential to introduce low-cost ventilation solutions as you share this information with your fellow farmers and fellow farm workers on improved housing designs and promote proper waste management for a cleaner environment. Implementing these solutions not only improves the living conditions for the poultry birds but also contributes to the overall sustainability of the farm. Improve housing by introducing low-cost modifications like adding natural ventilation holes and using locally sourced materials. Organize demonstrations on building affordable predator-proof poultry houses. Implement a waste recycling system within your farm to manage chicken waste effectively and create compost for farming. Transform the poultry waste into organic manure and apply it on your garden crops to cut short on fertilizer costs. To make sure your chickens live in a good place, make simple changes to their homes. Add sheep ways for air to come in and out of the poultry houses and keep the area clean. When you take care of where your chickens live, they will be happy and healthier. So, creating a conducive housing and environment for your poultry birds is crucial for their well-being and optimal productivity. 
A well-designed pottery house should provide adequate space, proper ventilation, and sufficient natural light. Ensuring proper insulation helps regulate the temperatures and protecting bats from extremes. These are temperatures. Yeah. Flowering with absorbent materials like coffee husks, old shavings helps manage waste and maintains clean environment. Additionally, proper sanitation practices are essential to prevent diseases on your farm and implementing a good waste management system and regular cleaning routines minimizes the risks of infections on your farm. Adequate spacing between buds reduces the stress and minimizes the chances of aggressive behavior. So the, this optimal ventilation is critical for maintaining air quality inside the pottery house. Good airflow prevents the build up of harmful gases and ensures a constant supply of fresh air in the pottery houses. So installing windows and vents strategically contributes to a well ventilated space and providing an enriching environment with patches and dust bathing areas allows birds to express natural behaviors promoting their physical and mental well-being and adequate access to clean water and nutritionally balanced feeds is a fundamental for their growth and health a good pottery housing and environment for a better and successful pottery housing and environment management you need to prioritize factors such as space ventilation cleanliness and enrichment whereby creating a healthy and comfortable space not only ensures the well-being of these birds but also contributes to the better productivity our fifth point is water management water management poses significant challenges for poultry farmers Ensuring a clean water and adequate water supply is crucial for the health and performance of birds on your farm. So the contaminated water can lead to diseases and reduce the productivity of birds on your farm, hence making losses. So maintaining a proper water quality involves regular testing and finding issues like bacterial contamination. As water scarcity or in constant supply can also impact pottery farming, necessitating efficient water storage and distribution systems. Proper hydration is essential for bad health, affecting digestion, temperature regulation, and overall well-being. So, my fellow farmers, you need to 